right, so here he is, one of the better boxers in this division. Certainly has a well-rounded MMA skill set, but it's hard to lead the walk with anything other than the hands, which might be the best in this division. Especially when you look at some of the highlights, right? You look at him landing that jab, and it's almost picture perfect. The jab lifts the head, the right hand follows, and guys are going to sleep. Yeah. I would love to be considered a boxer if I had the skills yeah. that this young man possesses. Be happy because you spent a lifetime developing it, and now it puts you on the cusp of UFC superstar. He looks as comfortable throwing a jab as I do, like folding a slice of pizza in half, <laughs> you know? I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter. Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Manawa is nine years the elder. He weighed in at 205 pounds. He will have a seven-inch reach advantage. Here once more is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 17 wins, six losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, Jimmy Poster Boy Manawa! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. You ready to fight? All right, so lock the expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. It seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Oh, Jimmy Manuel looking to put another victim on a poster here tonight. Maybe his UFC career hasn't gone entirely according to plan, but one thing is for sure, this is not a man you want to get kicked by low, high, or in the middle. Jimmy manuel has got it going here tonight. Lee gets caught with that punch. These guys throwing early. And he landed the right hand there. Kick attempt there, blocked. Right, let's move now. Let's breathe and move. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those legs. Put your hands up higher. Come on. Not there. 
Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fight. Oh, nice counter punch there as he continues to make good use of this advantage in reach. Lee gets caught by that straight punch. That'll get his attention. You get the turn and that kick. Attack and it's blocked. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Well, he misses with the left punch there. It's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Strong straight left there. The strikes continuing to pile up. 27 total strikes have now landed for the poster boy, Jimmy Manuel. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. He is all about that left kick to the body. You got to whip his hip into that kick. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside side. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful legs. And he connects with the punch. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Good jab. Right on the elbow. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Nice body shot. Man, his counters are on point tonight. The jab is good. Nice head kick. Oh, nice combination of kicks once again. Beautiful one. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. How good is that right hand? Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. That shot blocked by the poster boy. Right hand upstairs. One-two punch is true. Four strikes to the head. Big leg kick lands. Nice punch there by Jimmy Manuel. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Stop, stop, stop. All right, listen, you've got to get out there and start putting on. I need your offense and defense both to be sharpened up. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented players. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch there by Lee. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Nice kick landed there by Lee. Just misses with the left hook. Oh, wow! Head kick. Good. Keep the 
Beautiful body kick. Just misses there with the left. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. And he continues to work the body here. Big hard punch land. Now he gets back to range. Man, it was lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Head kick lands. Blocks the shots. Just over three minutes to go. Goes back to that left kick once again. Try to establish that jab. Can't take many of those, it's better check. Well, eventually, you know he's going to turn this defense into offense, but he's certainly doing a nice job on the defensive end. They talk about the feeling out process. He's getting his opponent's timing. Now he's blocking everything. Expect counters as we go forward. <laughs> Throws the right hand there. Manoa gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Big punch lands. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Counter there with a jab to the head. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this. Big kick lands. Huge block there. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Beautiful strike. Manoa gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. See if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that move. Oh, straight right. Manoa's strike attempt there is blocked. Nice one, two there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Misses on the uppercut there. Effective strike there by Lee. Manoa's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Right on the button. Nice kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Going to the leg kick now, and it's there. Nice job by the I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Just missed with the left there. What a round. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action, but the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and then survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, so back-to-back -back entertaining rounds. We'll see how it goes in this round. We'll see which corner sort of maximized those 60 seconds on the screen. This is what happened. Very skilled, very evenly matched fighters 
coming together. Nobody has really taken a lead in this fight. Let's see who does it going into the next round. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, that's a nice strike. here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Counters with a left. Nice punch by Liv. Anawa gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You gotta do better defensively. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Watch knees to the body. Oh, a huge block there. Back to the feet. Championship-winning performance. He used his wrestling. He used his elbows. He used his pace and pressure to really wear down his opponent so that he can get his hand raised. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 49 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jimmy Posterborn Manawa. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. 